What's up guys? It's me, Ola87, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build this awesome Lakitu Cloud Costume. Let's go! Seriously? So this is actually the second Lakitu costume that I've made, and I wanted to make a tutorial because both times I was making these, I had an incredibly tough time finding stuff online, how-to videos, instructions. This is an awesome last minute Halloween costume idea. You can make this in just a few hours, and it's also incredibly cheap. So like I said, I've already made two costumes. Here they are side by side. The one on the left is from last year and the one on the right is from this year. Let me know in the comment section below which one you think is better. I personally think that the new and improved Black 2 is a lot better. Plus it won't catch on fire like it did last time. That could have been me! So for last year's costume, I just bought a cheap uh, Ninja Turtle costume. It had the purple armbands. We took those off and we just used the costume as it was. And it even included its own shell. So pretty simple, pretty easy. And for this year's costume, I wanted to step it up a little bit. So I bought this Koopa costume. Uh, make sure you get the extra large because the large is way too small in this area. Um, but I want Lack of Two to look a little bit more badass. And the costume comes with one of these shells, which doesn't really match Lakitu. So I actually bought one of these Ninja Turtle backpacks I found at Spencer's. And if you want a super cheap costume, you can just buy a yellow t-shirt, some yellow sweatpants, and a yellow hat. And for some extra accessories, this year I put some yellow slippers. Um, you can find these online for like six, seven bucks. I had some Mickey Mouse ones laying around, so I used these. For this year's costume, I wanted to give Lakitu some hair, so I bought a cheap ball cap for about $3, and then I ran these pipe cleaners through a few of the holes, and then I cut them off, and then on the bottom, I just hot glued them. So now I got some hair. And for the glasses, both years I used these goggles since we were shooting Roman candles at each other. I got these from the Dollar Tree, and then I just markered around the edge. I think these are pretty much the closest thing you can get to Lakitu. Um, but I also found these from the Dollar Tree, which are some crazy looking glasses, and they also look pretty cool. This is kind of like old school Lakitu, and this is kind of like new school Lakitu. And so for the headset, this year I just got this from the Dollar Tree, just some earmuffs. Looks pretty cool, and I think I had a bendy straw going around for the mic. Last year we just used a pair of headphones. So now that you have your costume all figured out, I'm gonna show you how to build the cloud, which is the key piece of the Lakitu costume. So you're gonna to wanna to start off with a regular large box from Home Depot. I got the heavy duty ones just because they hold up better. This one is a 18 by 18 by 24 box. And you're gonna to wanna to cut it so you have four panels like this. And then you're gonna to wanna to draw your initial cloud on here. You're going to want to draw as big as possible so that way you're using up as much of the cardboard as you can. And once you got a good shape, then it's time to cut it out. I used a razor blade like this, uh, but you can use scissors or whatever else you have and just cut it out. So once you have your first shape cut out and you're pretty happy with it, place it back on the cardboard and then you're going to want to trace around it. That way you have two pieces of cloud that are, are the exact same size. Once you have your second cloud all traced out, then cut that one out. And then you should have two cloud shapes that are pretty much the same size. It's okay if they're not exact, but they should be close to the same. Now this will be your front and your back of your costume. Then you'll need something to connect the two pieces. Now for the middle part, it's important that if you're a bigger guy, you leave yourself a little bit more space especially if you're using the spray foam. I didn't do that for this one and it's an extremely tight fit. And also when you're making these middle pieces, remember that you're going to have to leave some on the edges so that way you can bend it in, like uh, this side and this side. That way you have something to connect it to, right here and right here, because you're going to want to glue right here. So make sure you leave some space. Now that you got your two middle pieces, it's time to glue them down. 
put them, try to center them the best you can. And once you think you got them where you need to, then you can glue them down. Remember, this side has the flap, so glue it along the edge, then stick it down, and then do the same thing on the other side. And so once you have both of these glued down, then you can flip it over and put the top one on. So once you got your basic shape down and the glue is dry and it for sure fits over your body, nice, it's not too snug, then it's time to give it a good whitewash and you can easy, either use spray paint or kills for that. So I'm not gonna paint this one since I already have this one, uh, but now it's when you're gonna have to decide if you wanna use cotton balls or spray foam. Uh, if you're gonna use cotton balls, then what you're gonna wanna do is apply a ton of glue down here open up your cotton balls and just start spreading them out make sure you have them nice and even and then once you have a good coat maybe go down once more and fill in all the spaces and then you're going to want to do that all the way around your cart even on the sides and even in the middle and if you want to use the spray foam which is what this one is uh, you're just going to want to spray foam all the way around it all the way on the inside all the way on the outsides and with the spray foam just remember every time you apply it mist it with some water uh, this will help it cure faster and it'll make it a little bit stronger. That way you'll have a nice and durable cart like this one. And one key tip, when you're doing the side that's going to have your face, make sure you leave a good perimeter around the outside so that way you can draw your face on the inside. And for drawing the face, I just did uh, some black paint, just kind of freehanded it. Uh, if you see the cotton ball one last year, I added some lights on the sides, which turned out pretty cool. Now it's time to build it, Lakitu's accessories. And if you're doing a Lakitu costume, you have to have the stoplight. So for the box, the easiest thing you can do is find a box that's already the right shape that you want, like this one. Timber! Oh no! I stuck this hook in through the top, and then I opened up the bottom, and then glued it down in place, so that way it's nice and secure. Then I gave it a good whitewash, and then spray painted it black. For the lights, last time I just painted red spots and a green spot. This time I thought I'd add some push button lights and you can find these at the Dollar Tree. They're super cool and super easy to attach. On the back they have double sided sticky tape. So just peel that off and stick them on. The next step is to make the stick or just find a stick laying around in the garage. Uh, I used a dowel rod that was circular and then I just painted it black. Pretty easy stuff. And then for the rope or chain, last time I used a rope, this time I had a chain laying around. So that's what I'm gonna use for that. I just electrical taped it on the end here. And then you just put it through one end and attach it to the other end. And then you got yourself a lack of two light. And last up, this one is optional, but it's super easy to make and it really completes the costume. It's the spiny ball thing that Lakitu throws. I'm not sure if it has a name, but we'll call it the spiny ball. And this thing's incredibly easy to make. You can find these foam shapes at Walmart or the Dollar Tree. I think they were like 25 cents each. And I got the ball from the dollar store where I get everything. And to attach them, I just put some liquid nails on the bottom and then push it down in there. And once it was kind of secure, then I sprayed along the bottom. That way you get a nice sticking spike. Uh, this thing's pretty durable and it's cool. Thanks for watching our Lack 2 costume tutorial. I hope it helped. There wasn't a whole lot out there on this. Um, so at least now you have a starting off point. And if you do end up making one, make sure you take a picture, post it on Instagram and tag us at nothing to do crew so we can check it out. 
And don't forget to let us know which costume you thought was better, the 2016 Lack 2 or the new and improved Lack 2. And stay tuned for our upcoming Mario Kart video, which should be coming out shortly. This time we had 10 characters, we had much bigger Roman candles, and it was way better than our last video. So subscribe and you'll get notified whenever we make a new video. We'll see you guys next time.